Hello, banana phone. Hello. Oh, oh, hi, Jesus. So great to hear from you on my banana phone. Oh, you want me to tell Francis Asbury I love you? Oh, hey guys, it's Jesus on my banana phone. He says he loves you. Just kidding. We are talking about fruit of the spirit this week, and I hope that you guys are doing a great job growing your fruit of the spirit. We read The Very Hungry Caterpillar this week, just to get us in the fruit of the spirit spirit, since this book has lots and lots of fruit in it. And for our fun Friday, we're gonna do a little bit of art. So I'm gonna show you right now a very easy option if you want to do this great, if you want to create something else, that's fine too. Anything that has to do with Fruit of the Spirit would be a wonderful art project to share. So I am going to draw for you the caterpillar in a very easy way. So if you would like to do this, all you're going to need is a pen, a marker, or a pencil. I'm using a Sharpie. If you use a Sharpie, please make sure that you ask mom and dad if it's okay first. And then I got a piece of paper, and I also got two glasses that are shaped like a circle. The circles I'm going to use to trace to make my caterpillar. Okay, so if you would like to get those things, just hit pause really quick. Go grab them, and you can come back and do this with me step by step. All right, here we go. I'm going to show you my paper. And on the side of my paper, I'm going to put my cup. That is a circle that's the larger one, the one that's a little bit bigger. And then I have one that's a little bit smaller. So I'm going to start, and I'm going to make my caterpillar's head with the larger one. So it's going to be a little bit bigger. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the top with my two fingers. And then I'm going to trace around the outside of my cup with my marker or pen or pencil. So that's my caterpillar's head. Then I'm gonna make my caterpillar's body with the smaller circles. So I'm gonna trace connecting to his head, right? Because I want my caterpillar all connected. A few circles. And if you want, you can make your caterpillar squiggly if you want to make them really straight, you can make them straight. I'm going to make them kind of go up and down, up and down. And I'm just going to trace all these little circles. There he goes. I'm going to make one more. Kind of be like his tail. Ooh, let's count how many. One head, and how many circles after the head? One, two, three, four, five, six. I wonder how many will be on your caterpillar. Now I'm going to give my caterpillar two eyes. If you want, you can try to make them look like these eyes, but you certainly do not have to do them that way. I'm going to just do kind of silly eyes. So I'm going to make two circles, and then inside, I'm just going to color in a black dot. And then I'm going to give him two antlers. See on the top, he has little lines. So I'm going to make mine swirly at the ends. Ooh, one more. Swirly one. And last but not least, I'm going to give him some feet. Actually, maybe I'll give him a smile too. I'll give him a smile because he's growing fruit of the Spirit in his heart. So he's happy. And now I'm going to give him some little feet. I don't need any feet on the head, right? Just on his body. So for his feet, I'm just making backwards L's. There you go. Now you have a very hungry caterpillar of your own. And I'm going to save this, and on Friday, I'm going to go outside, and I'm going to do some painting.
If you have paints, great, you can use paint. If, if you have watercolor paints like this, these work fantastic and they're not too messy. But if you don't have watercolor paints, you can use markers. You can just go outside and do some marker art. Or you can use crayons. And Mike has learned a fun trick with markers. If you would like to use markers, but you want them to be a little bit like paint, what you can do is you can use the marker, color in wherever you want color, and then just take a cup of water and a paintbrush and paint with water, these washable markers, they become like paint when you get them a little bit wet. So parents, if you're looking for a way that's a little bit less messy, you can do the markers first and then just paint over with clear water and it'll help blend it in and make a beautiful watercolor painting. So I can't wait to see the artwork that you share with us on Friday. I'm really excited. Please go ahead and post those in the comments photos or videos, and we can look at what we are all doing on Fun Friday Outdoor Art. Have a great week, guys. I hope you're all doing a good job with your fruit of the spirit. Bye-bye.